Round two cut short yesterday here at Belle Reve Country Club because of the weather. That just means a lot of golf will be played today in front of thousands of fans. And as you can imagine, not a lot of fans happy about yesterday's weather. What you need to know if you plan on coming out for the rest of round two and three this morning. Well, if fans weren't happy with yesterday's weather, I think they'll be a bit more pleased today because there's no rain in the forecast. We'll take a look at your weekend coming up. Live from Bell Reve Country Club, home of the 100th PGA Championship, this is News 4, watching out for you. Happy Saturday morning, everybody, and welcome back to Bell Reve Country Club for our continuous coverage of the 100th PGA Championship here in town and country. A very action-packed day expected. Good morning to you. I'm Corey Stark, and it's going to be action-packed. As we just said, yesterday's day was cut short because of the rain, so that means a round and a half of golf will be played today. Yesterday, the weather was a big storyline, so you probably want to know if you're coming out or maybe if you're not coming out, what the weather is going to be like today. So Kristen Cornett is back in the studio for us, tracking all the weather details. Good morning to you, Kristen. Good morning. Yeah, today is going to be a little bit better, I think, with regards to the weather. Let's start with your temperatures across the region. First of all, it's 71 at Belle Reve, 73 in St. Louis. We're at 70 in Alton and 69 in O'Fallon, Illinois. All the rain is long gone at this point. You can see a little bit more cloud cover over southeastern Missouri and southern Illinois, but the skies have cleared out over St. Louis, although we do have a little patchy fog in the area. So for this morning's tea times, here's what we're looking at. 7 a.m., again, some patchy fog, otherwise mostly sunny, 71. And by 9 a.m., we are at 77 degrees. As we move into the afternoon, I'm forecasting a high of 89 it's going to be hot, it's going to be dry, but you know what? Yesterday we hit 96, so I would say that's way better. Uh, as we move into Sunday, sunny skies with a high of 90. Heat index values will make it feel maybe one or two degrees hotter, but not much. So, uh, yeah, compared to yesterday's 96 and peak heat index around 100 degrees, that's going to be more pleasant. Plus, we've removed the rain, so I would say that's much improved. Hopefully that's something for the fans to be happy about today, right, Corey? I think a lot of fans will be happy about that. All right, Kristen, thank you. And because of yesterday's storms, nearly 70 players, actually more than 70 players, have to finish their second round today, and that includes a ton of big names. So here are some of the players that you'll see on the course very early this morning. Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy, and Justin Thomas. They will start their day on the hole eight. Phil Mickelson, Jason Day, and Keegan Bradley will begin on the ninth hole. Ricky Fowler will start on hole 11 and all players are expected to begin playing at 7 a.m. Then the third round will begin about 30 minutes after the second round concludes. I just talked to a PJ official. They expect that time to be around 11.15 and players will be teeing off for their third rounds between 11.15 and 1.15 today and they'll be playing in groups of three. And if you have tickets for today, well, man, you're in luck because, as I said, you're going to see that round and a half of golf, and a lot of fans are expected to come out early. So we have our Mariel Mose that's live here at Bunch Up at Bell Reef Country Club with us. Mariel, what can fans expect today? Hey, Corey, it's going to be a fun, awesome day of golf, especially because they get that extra golf this morning. When fans come in, they're going to see those players warming up early. You can actually see them setting up the player cards. This is the name cards where you can see track which player is practicing on the driving range. So they're getting them all set up. Looks like the driving range, though, is probably a little muddy and wet. But then fans will continue on in here towards the entrance. They'll come down this way and they'll enter the gates where they'll see hole 10 and hole 1. Now, if you had a ticket yesterday, you do not have access to Bell Reef Country Club today to see that second round and a half of, or that second round of golf. You only can have entrance into the Bell Reef Country Club if with a Saturday ticket only. Also, we want to let you know that the gates will open per usual here at Bell Reef at 630. Shuttles as well as rideshare shuttles will be picking up starting at 6 a.m. Now, we want to give you a little bit of a warning that we've been seeing over the last few days. The Fenton Logistics Park has seen a lot of backups on Interstate 270. So give yourself more than enough time than you think to get there and make sure you have time to park and then shuttle on over again the rideshare shuttle though that goes at what that gets picked up at Westminster High School now one thing fans will see Corey it's gonna be soaking wet take a look when I walk here on the carpet it is splashing this carpet is just completely saturated with water I'm wearing very thin tennis shoes and I'm already feeling 
wetness kind of seep in. So wear definitely durable shoes this today, not flip-flops, even though it's gonna be dry, as Kristen said. The carpet here, which is over 50% of Belle Reve Country Club, is drenched in water. So do keep that in mind when you come on out here. Corey, back to you. Marielle, there certainly are a lot of wet spots. Actually, I was walking along the 18th hole, and I gotta admit, I fell. So I was a little muddy this morning, but I'm okay. Uh, as we said, today is gonna look a little bit different than it was supposed to because of all the rain that we got. So thousands of fans were rushed out of Bell Reve yesterday, just before four o'clock. That's when they suspended play for the incoming weather. The PGA waited for about an hour before suspending play for the day. That happened around 5.30, right in the middle of round two. And fans, as you can imagine, were disappointed. Incredibly disappointed. Coming out here, slaying in the heat all day, 94 degrees. All I wanted to do was see Tiger. It was that close, and they called it. We had, uh, you know, the announced evacuation. And it was kind of a bummer because Tiger was on a roll. And once the siren sounded yesterday, fans had a long wait for the shuttles. Many fans said they called home just to let their families know we're going to be a little bit late. And yeah, we're going to be a little bit wet. And with the rain, officials at Bell Reef were worried about the condition of the course. Marielle just talked a little bit about that. But the grounds crew, we can tell you, worked throughout the night because there are a lot of them are here this morning. They, may, they work to make sure the course is in tip-top shape, and officials say the course looks pretty good. The spectator areas, as Marielle was talking about, are a different story. Leave the high heels, the good shoes at home, because the grounds will be muddy. I can attest to that. As for the players who still need to finish round two, they are happy with the decision to suspend play. I was in the locker room and overheard Tiger and, and JT, uh, Justin Thomas, talk about getting freshies for the morning, meaning that the greens will be, will be freshly mown and rolled. So they were playing on greens that had been uh, beat up a little bit. But Trevor, I'd be the golfers also talked about how big the crowds are at Bell Reeve. Jordan Spee said this is some of the most fun he has had playing in front of fans. That's a huge uh, accolade for St. Louis. And we'll hear from more players about the huge crowds coming up in just a little bit. Well, many of those fans, as you can imagine, were following Tiger Woods. He'll look to keep his momentum going today. He had a great start to round two. He actually birdied three of the first four holes, so he finished uh, before that suspension three under par. He's having a big day yesterday. We'll see if he can continue, continue that this morning. 132 yards and a pitching wedge. Easiest hole on the golf course so far today. Yeah. Oh. That had action all over it. All right, so Tiger would tap that in for birdie on the third hole. He is three under par right now, seven shots off the lead. And a lot of players, we can tell you that, went very low, had low scores yesterday, with uh, two guys tying the PGA Championship record with rounds of 63. So here's a look at the leaderboard as it stands after round two of action, or what was round two that still needs to be played uh, more today. Gary Woodland is still in the lead at 10 under. Kevin Kistner is second at nine under. Brooks Kepka surged into third place. He had a big day with a round of seven under yesterday. And Charles Schwartzel got the, uh, or he shot the other 63 of the day. He sits in fourth place with three other guys at that uh, seven under score. There are several big names in danger of missing the cut. And there are some big names uh, right now. The projected cut is even par. That's where Rory McIlroy sits, meaning the likely uh, he can't lose any strokes if he wants to continue into the third round. Phil Mickelson needs a strong finish in the second round to keep playing. He is at three over par. Sergio Garcia, Bubba Watson, and St. Louis native Michael Block are others who will likely miss the cut. Well, if you can't make it out to Bell Reeve this morning, you can watch all of the action on TV. TNT will begin coverage this morning when play resumes at 7 o'clock. Then at 1 o'clock, CBS coverage of round three begins right here on Channel 4. You can also stream the coverage online at PGA.com. And Channel 4's coverage goes beyond what's on TV. There's also a special PGA section on the KMOB News app. It includes everything from slideshows to web exclusives. 
That app is free to download from your phone's app store. And of course, we'll have more team coverage from Bell Reve all weekend long, including a lot more here on your Saturday morning. But we know there's other news headlines going on this morning. So for that, we're going to send things back to Eric Cox in our studio. Good morning, Eric. Hey, good morning to you, Corey. That's exactly right. Thank you. Well, breaking overnight, a Seattle airline mechanic stole a commuter airplane and then crashed it near a small island. Take a look at this video of the crash site. The turboprop plane is owned by Horizon Air. That's a subsidiary of Alaskan Airlines. Cell phone video shows the plane doing tricks in the sky. Two F-15s were dispatched to follow that stolen airplane. Air traffic control audio from the airport reveals the man may have been suicidal. I got a lot of people that care about me. And uh, it's going to disappoint them to, to hear that I did this. Um, I would like to apologize to each and every one of them. Um, just a broken guy. Got a few screws loose, I guess. Never really knew it until now. Well, there were no passengers on board that plane. It's believed the suspect died in the crash. If you're headed over to Illinois this weekend, heads up. The Poplar Street Bridge is closed. You're taking a live look right now at construction crews working out there. It's a part of a larger closure that will impact anyone traveling downtown. Eastbound 64 will be closed from Jefferson across the river to Route 3. That includes the ramps along that stretch. The lanes and ramps should reopen by 5 Monday morning. Well, if you're traveling over to Illinois, a couple of good alternate routes would be taking the MLK or Eads Bridge through downtown or the stand span from Interstate 70. Alarming video you will only see on 4. It's a story News 4 has been following. Two robbers holding up in emos. Now surveillance footage shows the heart-pounding moments employees faced at the emos on Airport Road in Ferguson. We want to warn you, this video is graphic. News 4's Benton Blandin walks us through what happened. Sunday evening at the Emos in Ferguson was anything but normal. One employee took phone orders and another waited to make pizzas until a man with the long arm comes through the kitchen. He goes right into the Emos office. Then the manager notices. He lunges at the robber. The armed man, who you then see has a mask on, rushes out. No money. No money. No money. But the manager, now grazed by a bullet, won't no let him go. No no Screams for help forced a second gunman to enter the pizza shop. Oh. Almost immediately, the second gunman fires at the employee. The employee is hit in the arm and falls behind a wall. Both shooters then run away. That's when you hear your first round or your second round. Ferguson's assistant police chief hopes someone at home knows these dangerous criminals. The way they walk, um, the, the movement, the height. Uh, these gentlemen appear to be pretty thin. Um, just just the, the mannerism. The shot employee hops back to the phone with blood dripping. He calls 911. He the employee was shot three times and was back to work Friday morning. Ferguson police stress, even the smallest tip right now can help. It might be this person. Well, that's fine. It might be, it might not. But let us follow up on it, and then we can determine if it's not. Vincent Blandon, News 4. Still ahead, team coverage of the 100th PGA Championship continues live from Bell Reef. More than 100 shuttle drivers drove in from across the country to help transport fans. We'll introduce you to one who came all the way from Florida. It starts with a question and listening more than you talk. It takes hustle, drive, sweat. How you doing? I'm Benson with News 4. Going where others won't go. She's like, gotta be careful about these vacant homes. And challenging the status quo. There's not enough officers and a chief at the moment. Hey, the job isn't for everyone. She gave us an address of a property we can check out. But around here, it's all in a night's work. News 4 at 10. The most watched newscast in St. Louis, watching out for you. Hi, I'm Gary Callier, co-owner of Affordable Kitchen to Bath. Check out our newest 10 by 10 kitchen offer. Homeowners now have their choice of 10 different cabinet colors and 10 different granite colors. All for $6,000. AffordableKitchenToBath.com. This forewarned driving safety tip is brought to you by your MidAmerica Chevy dealers. 
Before you take a road trip, it's a good idea to check your car for recalls. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has a VIN lookup tool that lets you enter a vehicle identification number quickly to learn if a specific vehicle has not been repaired. Check for recalls on NHTSA.gov. This forewarned driving safety tip is brought to you by your Mid-America Chevy dealers. When you list your home with Caldwell Banker Brown Realtors, you don't just have an agent. 159 Elm, let's go. You have a team. 159 Elm, on it. Dispatching photos to listing sites. Got it featured. Fire agents, touring home. Open house scheduled. Banner deployed. We have a live one. Offer received. Uploading contract. Closing scheduled. And that's how it's done. List your home with Cobble Banker Brown Realtors. You have a team. Allen Roofing and Siding, committed to exceptional workmanship and value. AROofing.net. At Affordable Kitchens and Bath, our name says it all. We offer this entire bath for just $9,000. Everything you see here, the tub, all fixtures, cabinets, and flooring, including full installation, AffordableKitchensandBath.com. Live from Belle Reve Country Club, this is News 4, watching out for you. And hey, welcome back to Bell Reeve Country Club. So yesterday morning, the early storylines were low scores, the heat, and then in the early afternoon, Tiger Woods making his run, starting his day at three under par. But then the storyline changed to the storms and the weather that suspended play. So fans want to know, what does today look like? And with those answers, Kristen Cornett joins us in studio. Good morning, Kristen. How about no rain? I think that's probably some good news this morning. I like it. Yes, I think they will too. We are rain free the rest of this championship round. Here's a look this morning from our BJC Skycam Network. Top left box, that's town and country where the PGA Championship's being held. 71 there right now. It's 69 in Alton, 72 in Oakville, and 73 in downtown St. Louis. We do have a little bit of patchy fog in the area. Otherwise, skies are mostly clear, and we are dry. All those showers and thunderstorms have ended across the area. The cold front has pushed through. Behind it, clearing skies. Still a little bit of cloud cover over southeastern Missouri and southern Illinois, but it's moving out pretty quickly this morning. We're going to see lots of sunshine today. Now, I do want to point out that south of Farmington, this afternoon, there's about a 20% chance for a few little pop-up showers and storms because of your proximity to that frontal boundary. So watch for those, I would say, around mid-afternoon, but most of them gone by 5 o'clock, certainly out of the area by 6. That's if we see them at all. Again, the chance, only about 20%. So let's take you through the forecast here. This morning, we're near 70. Some patchy fog, otherwise mostly clear skies, a light northerly breeze. So for the PGA Championship this afternoon, by lunchtime, we're up to about 85 degrees. We're mostly sunny. By 2.30, 89 degrees, typical August heat for the St. Louis area. And then by 7 o'clock this evening, 84. Wind's pretty light, not much of a breeze today, north at around 3 miles per hour at that point, but mostly sunny and dry. Temperatures typical for this time of year, but not nearly as hot as yesterday, and a little bit less humid as well. Let's take it through the next several days. So Sunday, sunny skies, 90 degrees. Monday, sunny skies, 91. And then things get a little unsettled. We have at least a chance of thunderstorms on Tuesday. Much better chance of rain and storms are when on Wednesday. This is our best chance all week. And then looking ahead to Thursday and Friday, right now, pulling that rain chance out for Thursday. A little too low to mention at this point. Chance of storms back in the area on Friday. Hey, I want to remind everybody about Weather Ready Fest. It's coming up August 25th at the St. Louis Science Center. It's free, but you do need a ticket. Go to kmlb.com slash weatherreadyfest for more information. And I do want to remind you as well, this is a great family-friendly event. Bring out the whole family if you love weather. This event is for you. Corey, let's send it back out to you at Bell Reeve for all the latest. Kristen, now you're talking less humidity and no storms. We love hearing that. Thank you very much. Well, all week long, we've been talking about the huge amount of fans that have been here at Bell Reeve Country Club for the 100th PGA Championship. The players have taken notice, but the PGA has also taken notice. Take a look at this tweet by the PGA. This is from an official PGA Championship Twitter account. It gave St. Louis a big shout out yesterday. It sent out this picture and the caption reads, take a look, St. Louis, question mark, a baseball city? 
we beg to differ. <laughs> we'll check out those crowds, and if you look closely, you can spy our very own Kent Earhart in right in the front row. He's always getting in those pictures. And this video of Sky Zoom, uh, from Sky Zoom, really puts into perspective how many people are showing up to watch the 100th PGA Championship. This is the main parking lot at the Fenton Logistics Park. Just take a look at that. It is safe to say there are thousands of cars parked there. And getting all those fans to the country club takes a village of bus drivers. And hundreds of bus drivers have shown up here to the St. Louis area to commute, uh, to take all those people here to Belle Reve Country Club. And our Brooke Grimsley talked with one of those drivers from Florida. Take a look. Hello there. How are you today? Come on in. Ginny Ritchie drove her bus all the way from Florida to shuttle spectators to and from Belle Reve. My partner drove halfway. We stopped overnight and then I drove the other half. Shuttles run constantly. Her day starts early and ends late. For the first drivers in the morning, they start at 5 a.m. until 2 and then we switch out with them at 2 o'clock and then we end at 11. But we also wait if there's cars out here, you know, we make sure that it's somebody's not over there needing them. A ride back. Her schedule may be long, but she is proud to take care of all the people coming through her bus. Everybody's smiling. You know, they're hot, got sunburns, but I've not had nobody complain. While Jenny was excited to be a part of her first PGA event, she doesn't get to go inside like the other people do that she drives around. <laughs> he likes to ride with us. I've, I've never seen what it's like out there. I, you see it on TV all day long. You know, we're we're behind stage. Jenny doesn't mind not getting to see the action, though, because what drives her is people going to places that I normally couldn't go because uh, I, I see all kind of walks of life. <laughs> it's just mainly the people. That's why I got into it. Brooke Grimsley, News 4. I can tell you firsthand, these bus drivers are working really hard. I've had a chance to talk to a few of them. They really have come from all over the country, and they, we really appreciate all the hard work that they're doing this weekend. Well, still to come, more exclusive team coverage from Bell Reef Country Club of the 100th PGA Championship. We have everything you need to know about today, rounds two and three. Plus, we are hearing from players and their reaction to the massive amount of people they get to play in front of. Captain D's lobster rolls, tender lobster meat melts in your beak. I'm going in. Dave, no! Come on in to Captain D's today for Lobster Feast. Full meal starting at $4.99. Captain D's, the taste of the coast. It's classic Washington. The year before Claire McCaskill joined the Senate, her husband's company paid them less than $17,000. Now, up to $1 million per year. Her husband's companies received $131 million in federal subsidies. McCaskill votes for subsidies. Her husband receives them. They both get rich, and you pay for it. Claire McCaskill, a corrupt Washington subsidy Missouri can't afford. NRSC is responsible for the content of this advertising. My doctor said I would never walk. They said they couldn't fix my hands. They said I couldn't play like the other kids. But that was before we found Shriners Hospital. Shriners Hospitals for Children is where some of the best doctors in the world put their best thinking into healing your child. Look what I can do! Not just to fix the physical issue, but to inspire your child and give them the confidence to live an amazing life. We care for the whole child, the whole family, regardless of ability to pay. Denali. A badge of honor for the relentless, who never tire of striving for the best. This is your invitation to upgrade. The GMC Denali Invitation, going on now. Visit your GMC dealer today. Get these offers on select 2018 GMC Denali models when you finance through GM Financial, like over 9,100 below MSRP on this specially equipped Sierra 1500 Denali. For the first time ever, Captain D's has two delicious new tastes for just $3.69 each. Get a giant fish sandwich or two North Atlantic lobster rolls. Right now, both are only $3.69 each. Captain D's, the taste of the coast. Forewarn weather is brought to you by the Clean Air Partnership. Reduce emissions by using transit or carpooling. Learn more at cleanair-stlewis.com. More than a dozen major wildfires are burning across California. One of the biggest, the Holy Fire. It's burned more than 19,000 acres. And smoke from these fires has drifted all the way to New England. 
That's more than 3,000 miles away. Thousands of homes are in the path of the Holy Fire. Flames got within feet of houses in one neighborhood. But somehow, firefighters were able to save most of them. I don't know. It's something you enjoy doing, and you know, you make a difference. I had all the faith in these guys and, and trust, and, and, they, and they did what they were supposed to do. In Northern California, a part of Yosemite National Park Service will reopen next week. It was closed when the Ferguson fire created dangerous conditions there. Well, preseason football just began, but the debate over kneeling during the national anthem is already back in the spotlight. President Trump continues to tweet against the move. Jerika Duncan has more. The New York Jets and the Atlanta Falcons stuck to football Friday night, but players on some teams have started the preseason protesting racial injustice by kneeling or raising a fist during the national anthem. That's all I'm trying to do is preach freedom and unity. President Trump tweeted his opposition, saying the NFL players are at it again, taking a knee when they should be standing proudly for the national anthem. The protest began in 2016 with former 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick. President Trump said this last September. Get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. Fans we spoke with say the ongoing controversy is overblown. It's been blown up a little too much. It's a football game. You know, we're going to have fun. I think his time is wasted on this particular issue. The president's time. Yes. NFL owners voted in May to mandate that all players have to stand for the anthem or stay in the locker room. Well, that idea didn't go over well with the players union and that policy was put on hold. Sports has always been a reflection of society. Sports business professor Lee Eigel says the NFL needs to figure out its values and find a way to move forward. Yeah. It's not about standing. It's not about staying in the locker room, and it's not about kneeling. Those seem to have not worked. They haven't really resolved the issue. The league and the players union say they are working on a solution that they hope to have in place by the start of the season. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, East Rutherford, New Jersey. All right, let's head back out to Corey Stark live at Bell Reeve for a look at what's coming up next in our next half hour. Hey, Hey, good morning, Eric. Our live coverage from Bell Reef Country Club continues coming up. We take a look at the current leaderboard, and we're also going to talk about the changes that you need to know about for today. And people are going crazy for the PGA 100 Bell, Bell Reef gear. I'm at the championship shop this morning, and I'm asking them, is everything picked over? If you're coming out for the last two days of this tournament, will you have your size and color available still? I'll let you know. Still ahead. You know when you're at Ross shopping for backpacks and mom also gets a back to school bag? That's Yes for Less. Ross has the brands you want for back to school and it feels even better when you find them for less. At Ross, Yes for Less. Now open at the Missouri History Museum, Muni Memories, 100 seasons on stage, featuring costumes and props from The Wizard of Oz, Mary Poppins, and more. Learn dance steps, vote for your favorite Muni stars, and get a behind the scenes look at the Muni. Hey, I feel like we're with family with you guys and just, uh, you know, I, I know you know this, but you got great leaders here with Pastor David and Nicole. You know, I know they inspire you, but they inspire me. The Bible says when you're planted in the house of the Lord, you will flourish. Let me tell you, you are planted at a good church right here at Faith Church. When you find that perfect certified pre-owned or used car, you're crossing your fingers hoping it's not a lemon. Your dealer's crossing their fingers too, but for very different reasons. Jim Butler Pre-Owned Powerhouse has nothing to hide. You'll get something you can trust from the start with three categories of certified pre-owned and used cars. Those other dealers will say anything to make a sale. With Jim Butler, you get benefits beyond honesty. A whole lot of them because shaking hands is always better than crossing fingers. Know how buying should be with Jim Butler at preownedpowerhouse.com. Jim Butler is the Chevy Hi, my name is Oprah. I'm at the People Magazine cover shoot. It really does seem like the American dream. I am the sexiest man alive. It's going to be wild. Pick up your copy today. Jack Schmidt Chevy of O'Fallon. Big city savings and selection. Hometown service. You know when you go to Ross for betting and you suddenly realize you're really into art? 
That's Yes for Less. Every trend, every room on any budget. It feels even better when you find it for less. At Ross, Yes for Less. Live from Belle Reve Country Club, home of the 100th PGA Championship, this is News 4, watching out for you. Welcome back to Belle Reve Country Club and our continuing coverage of the 100th PGA Championship here at Belle Reve. Good morning to you. I'm Corey Stark. A lot to talk about on your Saturday because of the weather yesterday. Of course, Friday's play was suspended about 3.30. They made the decision to not play the rest of the day around 5.30, so they did wait a little bit. But because of the suspension in play, a lot of players have a lot of golf to play today. In fact, some players have about 30 holes of golf to play, and that will all start at 7 o'clock. If you look behind me, I don't know if you can see, but some of the players are already starting to warm up as we have a great location right here on the driving range, so they're getting ready for that 7 o'clock uh, start that will begin today. So weather-wise, a lot of people have questions what that's going to look like. So Kristen Cornett is in the studio this morning tracking all the weather situations. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Yeah, some great news today. We're not worried about any rain out at Belle Reve. I want to start with the temperatures across the area. It's 70 at Belle Reve, 73 in St. Louis. We have 71 in Waterloo, 69 in Shiloh this morning. Visibility, a bit of an issue in some locations. We do expect some patchy fog around the area in Litchfield. You're down to one and a half miles of visibility. But we're at 10 miles in St. Louis, six though in Chesterfield, seven in Washington, Missouri. So let's talk about this morning's golf, shall we? 7 a.m. tea times, I'm thinking some patchy fog, otherwise mostly sunny, 71 degrees. And by 9 a.m., we are up to 77. For this afternoon, mostly sunny, hot, dry, 89. Tomorrow, sunny and 90. Those temperatures are about where they should be for this time of year. So yes, it's going to be hot, but we hit 96 yesterday. So I would say that's definitely an improvement. Humidity levels should be even slightly lower. So hopefully if the fans maybe weren't that happy with yesterday's weather, they'll be a little bit more pleased with this. Corey? I think they'll be a lot happier. Kristen, thank you. And of course, the rain caused a lot of headaches for both the fans and PGA officials and also the groundskeepers. They have been working very hard to get the course in great shape for this morning. And they were worried about yesterday's rain, but worked throughout the night to get the course back in tip top shape. Officials say the course looks pretty good this morning, but we do want to warn you the spectator areas are still a little bit rough this morning. I can tell you I already slipped on some mud, so you're going to want to leave the high heels, any kind of good shoes at home because the grounds will be muddy. There will be a lot of golf played today with nearly 80 players still needing to finish their second rounds. And again, we said that will start at 7 o'clock this morning. Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy, Justin Thomas start their day on hole 8. Ricky Fowler, Hideki Matsuyama, and Ian Poulter will begin on hole 11. And about 30 minutes after the second round wraps up, the third round will begin. That will be sometime between 11.15 and 1.15, depending on where those pl uh, players are grouped after round two is complete. And if you had a ticket for yesterday, you can not use it to see players wrap up their second rounds. You need a Saturday ticket. So tough uh, going for those who had Friday tickets. Again, you only can use a Saturday ticket for today. Shuttles from the uh, Fenton Logistics Park and the ride share and cab drop off start at 6 a.m. this morning. And the gates to Bell Reeve open just 30 minutes before second round play resumes at 630 this morning. So we know a lot of you will be getting a very early start to the day. Many of you probably heading out, the, out of the door right now. And if today is the first day you get to make it out to Bell Reef Country Club, you'll be parking at the Fenton Logistics Park. That is the old Chrysler plan off I-44 and 270. Massive amount of people that have been showing up there. The, uh, we've seen big backups on southbound Interstate 270 getting 244 the last couple of days, so make sure you leave early. And you can not get dropped off at Bell Reef. Drop off for ride sharing service and taxi cabs are at Westminster Christian Academy. That is off uh, Interstate 64 and 141. Well, one of the most popular places to be at Belle Reve this weekend is the Championship Shop. They have a lot of items there, that's for sure. All day long, it's been packed with people buying clothes and accessories embroidered with that Belle Reve PGA logo. And News 4's Mariel Mose joins us from the Championship Shop. Hey, Mariel, good morning to you. Hey. 
Hey, Corey, good morning. So this tournament's been going on since Monday, at least the practice round started then. So people are probably curious, hey, if I'm coming out here for the last two days, is everything going to be picked over and gone? The answer is no. I have some great news. You'll have plenty of options to pick from with items, sizes, and colors. However, there is one thing that they are warning you is they're running out of accessory options. So I, sp I spoke to the merchandise manager yesterday, and he said that people who come out here for these final two days of the tournament will have a very similar shopping experience to the people who came out on Monday for practice rounds. They have been filling in those restock orders all day, all night, to make sure that there's plenty of options and sizes for everyone that comes here. They said that was really important to make sure that that experience didn't change from day to day. And he, I, when I spoke to the merchandise manager, he said hats have been the most popular accessory item and those are going really fast so there will be still hats today and tomorrow but there's just going to be less color options of them and the PGA uh, merch merchandise manager says he has been really impressed by all the people obsessed with the Bell Reeve gear. I can't say enough about the St. Louis people in the area. I mean, to say they've embraced this event is an absolute understatement. I can say for the merchandise component of the operation that this is on track to be, hopefully, uh, one of our best PGA Championships ever. And being out here the last few days, and it's been super hot, I have to say, the Champion Shop is the place to be, and you can even tell. It is the condensation on these doors. Check that out. It is ice cold inside of there. So if you ever do get overheated and you're near the main entrance of the driving range, this is the secret spot to go to and cool off. It is an ice box. Corey, back to you. It is chilly in there, and I can tell you the PJ Champion Shop got some of my money yesterday. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, Mariel, thanks. Well, golf fans are really making St. Louis proud this week. Huge crowds have been showing up. The PGA has commented several times about the huge amount of people turning out, even for the practice rounds. We saw that. Well, the players and commenters are also taking note, many of them saying they can't believe how many people are lining the course, adding it's been very enjoyable to play in front of St. Louis. It's really nice to see everyone really embracing the tournament and an enthusiastic crowd. There have been a lot of roles out there. It's a fun, fun atmosphere for us to play in. These crowds have been, I mean, Monday shocked me. And then uh, every day it's been fantastic. It's been not overkill. Everyone's been, um, I, th I think, very respectful, fantastic sports and golf fans. Uh, this is a great market to come to in St. Louis. Uh, these people love their sports. Um, and... Uh, I think it's only going to get better over the weekend. I think this has been uh, some of the most fun golf as far as playing in front of fans that I can remember experiencing. Love that the PGA right here in Belle Reve is on the international spotlight. And here is a look at the leadership, uh, the leaderboard, excuse me, going into today. Gary Woodland is still leading. He led after round one. He is now at 10 under. He is followed by Kevin Kisner at nine under par. Brooks Kepka rounding out the top three. Other notable players further back include Tiger Woods and Jordan Spieth. They both had good Fridays. Uh, and Jordan and Tiger both still have holes to play today and this morning to finish their second rounds. But they, uh, Jordan Spieth is at three under par and Tiger Woods also at three under par. And defending champ Justin Thomas is at two under par. If you can't make it out to Bell Reef this morning, you can catch all the action on TV. TNT will begin covering the uh, coverage from Bell Reef Country Club this morning when play resumes at 7 o'clock. Then at 1 o'clock, CBS coverage of round three begins right here on Channel 4. You can also stream coverage online at PGA.com. And Channel 4's coverage goes beyond what's on TV. There's also a special PGA section on the KMOB News app. It includes everything from slideshows to web exclusives. The app is free to download from your phone's app store. We have a lot more of our team coverage from Bell Reef Country Club still ahead, but we know there's other news going on today. We want to send things back to the studio, and that's where we find News 4's Eric Cox. Hey, hey Eric. good morning, Corey. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, we need to let you know about a major traffic notice this morning. The Poplar Street Bridge heading into Illinois will be closed all weekend long. Eastbound 64 is closed starting at Jefferson. That includes the ramps along that stretch. The lanes and ramps should reopen by 5 Monday morning, but if you need to travel, using the Stan Span or MLK Bridge are pretty good options. This week was the fourth anniversary of Mike Brown's death. His mother marked the occasion by petitioning Missouri's governor to reopen the investigation. Leslie McSpadden tells News 4 she wants Governor Mike Parson to appoint a special prosecutor to the case. 
18-year-old Brown was unarmed when he was shot and killed by then-Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson. A grand jury chose not to indict Wilson. Then a federal investigation cleared him of any charges. We've seen them put other issues in front of the Ferguson issue, which they will not say my son's name, Michael Brown. It's his issue. So I go back to Mike Parsons to ask once again, why have you tried to dismiss this situation? So far, over 16,000 people have signed that petition. News 4 reached out to the governor's office. A spokesperson says the governor has no legal authority to appoint a special prosecutor in any case. Ahead on News 4 this morning, we'll get a full check of your forecast with Kristen and then head back out live to Belle Reve Country Club, where the 100th PGA Championship is expected to bring in millions of dollars to the city of St. Louis. But just how much does it cost to put it on? Come out for my family fun run in 5K and help the Little Bit Foundation improve the school experience for thousands of local kids just like these guys. It's Laura's Run for Kids. Register now at KMOV.com slash kids. Even your dream home has projects you can't stop dreaming about. We get it. A renovated bathroom would mean more than just new tile and a bigger tub. So we make it easy to apply on your phone for a region's home equity line of credit in about five minutes. It pays to be fast. Apply on your phone in minutes. Allen Roofing and Siding is doing your homework. Protecting your home from the elements and improving your curb appeal. Roofing, siding, gutters, tuck pointing, and more. AROofing.net. Committed to exceptional workmanship, service, and value. This forewarned driving safety tip is brought to you by your MidAmerica Chevy dealers. Hot cars can be deadly. Keep kids and pets safe. Remember, always look before you lock. The dashboard of a car can reach 160 degrees in the summer sun. And most deaths in hot cars occur because someone simply forgot. Never leave children or pets in the car. Remember, always look before you lock. This forewarned driving safety tip is brought to you by your MidAmerica Chevy dealers. Scooters on sale now. Call MedExchange today. MedExchangeSTL.com. When Cole Banker Brown Realtors helps you find a home. Oh, this one's nice. Inquiry. Want to love this park view? On it. You don't just have an agent. Want to see it? Sure. Here's our list of demands. You have an advocate. I like it. I need you to love it. I love it. I want to see the roof. A master negotiator. And replace the carpet. Give me the contract. Uploading now. And a new best friend. <laughs> Cobalt Banker Brown Realtors. You have a team. Coming up on CBS This Morning, Saturday, we'll take a closer look at what's making headlines today. CBS anchors Dana Jacobson and Michelle Miller are joining us live from New York with more on what you can expect when you tune in. Good morning, guys. <laughs> We're having too much fun up Good here. morning, Eric. You're going to have a lot of fun if this is any indication the way our morning's going right now. Coming up, we will have this morning's headlines for you. Plus, it's home to generations of families who made their living on the water, but now are losing their homes to the rising tide. We will take you to Tangier Island in Virginia and tell you what's being done to save it from the sea. And it's a lab where scientists help create knockoffs of some of the world's most popular wines. Can you believe it? Here's the question. Wine. Here's the question. Do connoisseurs really think it's all up to snuff? Does it taste good? That's what matters to me. And it is the happiest auction on earth. One man is selling more than a thousand Disneyland artifacts. Find out what he has and where the money is going. Hmm. All that plus your eye opener, the dish and music from Lord Huron in our Saturday session just ahead on CBS This Morning Saturday. What was that about wine? Sounds like a good show. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Again, hey, no sounds stories. Sounds like we need exactly. to send you some. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, ladies. And thanks again. Those stories and more coming up at 6 o'clock immediately following this newscast. All right, so after all that rain yesterday, everybody's wondering about the PGA Championship forecast for the weekend. I'll have a look at that and the week ahead coming up after the break. One of the greatest values here at Stash Home that no one else can offer you is our arm candy. We give you 10 style chairs, accent chairs, with 600 fabrics, with a 10-year warranty, any way you want to do it, $6.99, high style, low price.
It's Nissan's bottom line model year-end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s, like Ultima, featuring Nissan's latest tech, like automatic emergency braking. It's tech that can stop for you. The smartest time to buy a new Nissan is now. For a limited time, save up to 4680 or get a low 219 per month lease on the 2018 Altima. But hurry, the bottom line and our 2018s are almost gone. Say no to depression. Say yes to TMS. TMSHelps.com. I'm nervous because you never know like how the kids are going to receive a new person in the classroom. In the education program, they give us a lot of opportunities to observe in classrooms. I would say the most challenging thing for me is managing an entire class of three to five-year-old kids. Watching them learn is a really cool experience. It's worth it just to see at least one kid learn something and really see that idea pop in their head. Good morning, Prairie Room. Good morning, Miss When you drive a redesigned 2019 Jeep Cherokee, have an idea. A roadblock is a ticket to adventure. Mike said, hey guys, almost at Vista Point. With legendary capability and the ultimate in-car experience, the adventure never ends. Connect with great deals on the official vehicles of summer. Get 3,000 cash allowance or well-qualified lassies. Get this low mileage lease on the 2019 Jeep Cherokee Latitude Plus front-wheel drive. The one thing I would want the guests to know about Stash is value. We offer a large sofa, feather down cushions, eight way hand tie, true slip cover in several colors at $9.99. Elsewhere, they're $19.99. High style, low price. Live from Bell Reeve Country Club, this is News 4, watching out for you. A lot of the players getting ready for round twos and three today on your Saturday from Bell Reef Country Club. Take a look at your screen. You can see the nameplate there for Rory McIlroy. He's expected to be out on the driving range any moment to warm up. Also expected out there is Tiger Woods. His nameplate has been put out there as well. Uh, Ricky Fowler's nameplate you see there. And actually, I think that is Ricky as we uh, look at him warming up. Again, he has to finish his second round and then play the third round. We'll get into all of that right here on News 4 this morning. A lot of the questions become, what does the weather shape up to be for Saturday? Because a lot of golf has to be played. Many of these players have to play nearly 30 holes of golf between rounds two and round three. So we want to check in with Kristen Cornett to see what the weather situation will be like. Good morning, Kristen. Good. I can tell you it's foggy out here. Yes, yes. All right. So we've been talking this morning about this patchy fog across the area. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're heading out and about this morning, this is a live look right now from our BJC Sky Cam at Missouri Baptist Medical Center in town and country, which is near Bell Reeve. 70 degrees currently, and you can see the visibility uh, okay, but yeah, a little patchy fog out there in the area. Otherwise, skies are mostly clear. Temperatures around the rest of the News 4 viewing area, we've got 73 in St. Louis, 69 down in Bonterre, 70 in Sullivan, 67 in Troy, Missouri. 70 in Edwardsville and 70 in Nashville, Illinois. So the cold front that brought all that rain and had them, they had to call off play yesterday. Well, that front has moved down to the south, taking the rain with it. So we are done with that for the weekend. The clouds have moved out too, at least the higher clouds. We've got the fog still in the area. Still a few little lingering clouds in southeastern Missouri and southern Illinois, but they appear to be moving out pretty quickly as well. So let's talk about what happens next. With that front south of St. Louis, no rain in most of the News 4 viewing area today. But I do want to mention as we get into the early afternoon hours, we could see a few little isolated showers or storms pop up south of Farmington. Okay, uh, those will continue to be possible, I would say, through maybe late afternoon. But by 6 o'clock, I mean, they're gone. And the chance of that today is only 20%. Again, we're talking primarily south of Farmington down in far southeast Missouri today. So here's my forecast this morning near 70, some patchy fog, otherwise mostly clear with a light north wind. And then as we move into this afternoon, well, at noon, we're mostly sunny and 85 by 230, 89 degrees, typical summertime heat. 89 is about our average high for this time of year. And by 7 p.m., 84 
mostly sunny. So what about tomorrow? How about more of the same? I'm thinking sunny skies, 90 degrees. These temperatures are seasonable. The humidity should be a smidge lower than it was yesterday. Monday, sunny and 91, and then things start to get a little unsettled. Some chances of showers and thunderstorms in the forecast Tuesday and Wednesday, especially on Wednesday. That's our best chance of rain all week. But Corey, no rain today. Good news, right? Love hearing that. Thank you very much, Kristen. Well, it's said that the St. Louis area will get about $100 million from having the PGA Championship here. That includes your hotels, your rentals, and people going out to restaurants. But our Ray Preston found out it also takes a lot of money to bring a big event like this one here to St. Louis. Debbie Jones is here with her kids. They compete in swimming against Belle Reef so she can give you the before and after. And seeing the difference between that before any of this was here and now is it's just huge. The enormity of what they've built up over this golf course is unbelievable and quite impressive. About everywhere you look, there are stands, giant monitors on the course. From a boom camera to a blimp, it's all needed to broadcast the championship. Plants and flowers line the walkways as you enter. It's a sprawling compound. It's, a, it's actually a really lovely setup. And the entire entranceway, with thousands of people coming through every day, is all carpeted. The setup is crazy. I hope you're enjoying your day here. As you walk in, there's someone there to take your picture. A row of outdoor speakers, pipes, and music. They've got that, too, only it's a young lady. I think I'm just kind of blown away and soaking it all in. The footprint for the CBS television operations takes up two football fields. Cable has to be run to a camera that's more than a mile away from the center. There are fans for the fans, lifts for wheelchairs. That helps Helen Bear get around. We asked her if there was anything they needed more of. Could use a few more bathrooms. <laughs> and that's a woman's comment. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> always the eternal problem. Ray Preston, News 4. Well, take a look at your screen. The guy a lot of people are excited about, Tiger Woods. He is officially warming up here at Bell Reef Country Club as he has 29 holes of golf to play today. He is going to start on hole eight with his, uh, his partners for this, uh, Justin Thomas and also Roy McIlroy. We'll get their day started at 7 o'clock this morning on hole eight. Again, you see Tiger Woods warming up. A lot more still ahead right here on News 4 this morning. Stay with us. Every morning, every evening, and every night. More people get their news from News 4 than from any other source. Tonight we are following breaking news. With major investigations, tracking storms closer, and first with breaking news. Let's go to Lauren Traeger live at the courthouse. Thanks for making News 4 your number one source for news. And if you haven't yet, turn to 4 and see what you've been missing. News 4, watching out for you. It's classic Washington. The year before Claire McCaskill joined the Senate, her husband's company paid them less than $17,000, now up to $1 million per year. Her husband's companies received $131 million in federal subsidies. McCaskill votes for subsidies. Her husband receives them. They both get rich, and you pay for it. Claire McCaskill, a corrupt Washington subsidy Missouri can't afford. NRSC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Why do we keep making the fastest muscle cars in the world? Because once you've tasted American performance, you can never get enough. We're the Brotherhood of Muscle. Now, finance and get 3250 combined cash allowance plus 1000 bonus cash on select 2018 Challenger models in dealer stock. Experience the big golf tournament on the all-new 4K Sony OLED TVs from the Sound Room. We have the same price with better advice on all of our Sony 4K TVs and so much more. We're your local independent specialty dealer and we'll help you choose the right product with expert setup, installation, programming, and service. Visit our website at thesoundroom.com or stop by for more information. The Sound Room, audio, video, and automation experts in Chesterfield Valley next to Amini's. KMOV Channel 4, the official local station of the 100th PGA Championship, brought to you by Jim Butler Maserati and Andre's Banquets and Catering.
If you were just joining us on our Saturday morning, well, first of all, good morning and take a look at your screen. You can see a lot of the players getting warmed up, including this guy, Tiger Woods. He will get his day started for round two. He still needs to finish round two because of the suspension in play yesterday. He'll start on hole eight. And he will be joined, of course, by Rory McIlroy and Justin Thomas. They'll all start their day on hole eight. Phil Mickelson, Jason Day, and Keegan Bradley will begin on the ninth hole. Ricky Fowler will start on hole 11. And all players are expected to begin playing at 7 a.m. That is just 30 minutes after the gates open here Take at Bell Reef Country Club at 6.30. Well, then the third round will begin about 30 minutes after that second round is complete and that will be sometime between 11 15 and 1 15. so obviously a lot of golf will be played here at bell reef country club today a lot of these players playing nearly 30 holes of golf well coming up at seven o'clock on news Four this morning we'll be back here live and we'll show you the big crowds that are going to be filing in here at bell reef country club we'll be here for all of that action and Kristen has a final look of or your forecast right after the break stay with us Finally, back on the open road. Sure, I was sad when my first owner traded me in. But thanks to Jim Butler Pre-Owned Powerhouse, I feel like a new car again. They only sell the best, from certified pre-owned to their own value line. And with my perfection inspection and lifetime protection plan, my new owner can drive me away with certified peace of mind. A huge selection, the best trade and value, flexible financing options, and the lowest prices guaranteed. Find it all at preownedpowerhouse.com. Jim Butler is the Chevy Powerhouse. Custom Foam of St. Louis will replace the foam in those old cushions in as little as 30 minutes. We have foam in any size and shape, even foam for boats, RVs, dining room chairs, and more. Custom Foam of St. Louis, 314-994-0056. Now open at the Missouri History Museum, Muni Memories, 100 seasons on stage, featuring costumes and props from The Wizard of Oz, Mary Poppins, and more. Learn dance steps, vote for your favorite Muni stars, and get a behind-the-scenes look at the Muni. This forewarned driving safety tip is brought to you by your MidAmerica Chevy dealers. Scorching summer heat puts a strain on your engine. Make sure your cooling system is ready by having it flushed on a regular basis and use manufacturer-recommended coolant. Remember, never remove the cap from a hot radiator and check the hoses and belts to help your car stand the test of hot summer driving. This forewarned driving safety tip is brought to you by your MidAmerica Chevy dealers. Hey, pups. I got you your usual. You need to run off? No. I got plenty of time. <laughs> Here's to making your morning routine a little better. And it all starts with breakfast at McDonald's. Because right now, you can get your favorite savory sausage McMuffin, buttery sausage biscuit, or any size soft drink or sweet tea for just $1. Mm -hmm. Stairlifts on sale now. Call MedExchange today. MedExchangeSTL.com. Here's your forecast for the afternoon. Mostly sunny skies, dry weather expected today. Not quite as hot nor as humid as yesterday. I'm forecasting 89 degrees. And tomorrow, nothing but sun, maybe a degree warmer. Lots of sunshine and dry weather to take us all the way through Monday. Going to be a great day. Thank mm -hmm. you, Kristen. CBS This Morning Saturday is next. And we'll see you back here from 7 to 8 for more team coverage of the 100 PGA Championship live from Bell Reef.